All right, so we're still doing 5NF1, uh, addition and subtraction of fractions with unlike denominators. So we have a whole number 3, and we're subtracting from that 4 fifths. Um, again, we can think of a whole number as 3 over 1, so that would be the fraction. So any whole number uh, that's denominator is 1. Uh, so we want to get uh, both of these numbers to have the, the same um, denominator. So if we want to list factors, you can. 1... Two, or I mean multiples, so multiples of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well automatically then I see that 5 is shared, is a shared multiple, so 5 is the LCM, okay, um, so we're going to make this into fifths, and we already have this fraction as four fifths, okay. So if we want to look at it, we have 1 times something equals 5, so 1 times 5 equals 5. If we do the same thing with 3, so 3 times 5 equals 15, so 3 is equivalent to 15 fifths. So now we just need to do the subtraction of 15 minus 4, so we have 15 minus 4 all over fifths, okay, 15 minus 4 is 11. So that gives us 11 fifths. This is a improper fraction, so we need to change it to a mixed number. 5 goes into 11 two times, and we have 1 left over. So our answer would be 2 and 1 fifth. The way to look at that is if you just know this is 3 and you want to take 4 fifths out of it, if you take 4 fifths out of something whole, it's going to leave you with that 1 fifth fraction. Um, so that would just be the other way to look at it. If you wanted to take out, um, draw some pictures. Uh, if you have, you know, um, one, two, three, and uh, each one has fifths in it, four, remember these should be uh, the same, but with my drawing they're not going to be perfect. So again, this whole three, you split it up into fifths, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is that 15 fifths we were talking about. This is our 3 whole, and we're taking 4 fifths away. So if you kind of color in, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. That leaves us with 2 whole and 1 fifth. Okay, so either way, you get the same answer.